New at 10, several storage units broken into and thousands of dollars stolen during a recent heist at a public storage facility in Rolling Meadows. Our Charlie DeMar spoke to some of the victims who say they now feel locked out by the company. The locks cut off, boxes tossed, large holes in the drywall. This rolling metal storage unit left in complete disarray. Over $45,000 worth of stuff. They hit the jackpot, basically. They looked, they thought, we, you know, once they saw our stuff, they're like jackpot. The storage unit once belonged to Nikola Milosayevic. He kept a combination of inventory for his online business and his family's belongings inside the public storage facility. Public storage management hasn't seemed to want to do anything about it. I felt anger. I felt anger towards public storage. Surveillance images from the end of February show a black truck pull up to the storage unit on Lois Drive. Rolling Meadows police say the license plates were strategically removed. And there are reports of at least six units that were broken into the same night. We also spoke with Matthew Edwards, whose friend Dave, a construction worker, was also a victim in the same burglary at this Rolling Meadows public storage facility. He shared this email with us notifying Dave that his unit was unlocked, but there is no mention that it was broken into. His place was ransacked. It, he had about ten, fifteen thousand dollars worth of tools, electronics, uh, TV, computer, all sorts of stuff just gone. We wanted to know what public storage had to say. All media inquiries need to go to the chief legal officer. Okay. Instead of answers, we were given okay. the company's corporate number. 1-800-688. They haven't even apologized to us. It's almost like they're ignoring the whole situation. Charlie DeMar reporting. We made several attempts to reach public storage. So far, no response.